Hey, good morning, it's Dr. James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving and well. And I have a really good feeling this message is gonna touch your heart. It's gonna touch your tummy. Yes, it's, it's gonna touch your tummy. Cause we're talking about food, but we're gonna talk about spirituality and food, human performance, human potential and food. And in particular, a food that you'd wanna focus on in relationship to what is going on in the world right now. With all that we've just been through and all that we continue to go through, and for many of us, we're kind of looking ahead and going, oh man, I need to fortify, I need to build some more resilience, I gotta feel more optimism, I gotta feel more alive. Well, guess what? And we talked about this like two years ago, before COVID, before, <laughs> just gonna call it before. And since that time, with all we've been going through, I just wanna bring this back to you because a great study just came out on how necessary this particular antioxidant is. It's glutathione. Sometimes people love to say glutathione or glutathione. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> I guess they don't do that. I do that. But this is the queen of the antioxidant army. If you were like gonna take your body into the grocery store, your body's just kind of doing the shopping. It's gonna go, okay, what do I want? Well, you know what I wanna do? I wanna do all that I can to build this antioxidant because this is a game-changing antioxidant. Here's what it does. I love to call it the queen, yes, because she is in charge of the kingdom of your vitality, your resilience, your awesomeness, your vi just everything you'd wanna have, she helps to encourage and instruct to make happen. She fights free radicals, she's a detox fire, she builds your immune system. Very interesting enough, a study that went out in the world, and uh, not in the world, uh, well, it's a study of about um, just under 5,000 people over the age of 40. And they were looking at how stress and, and not eating as well as we know we could be or like to be eating, I'm never gonna say should be eating, um, when the emotions have been running kind of, <laughs> <laughs> when the emotions are running, uh, you know what I mean? Too tired to keep running, too scared to stop, tired and wired, hair trigger to react, that stuff. It actually drains our glutathione stores, makes us more susceptible to depression, uh, to immune dysfunction, to susceptibility to viruses. Oh my goodness, all those things. And interesting enough, after 40 anyway, our, our stores tend to drop, but that's a voluntary thing, meaning that it just happens because we're just not typically taking as a proactive approach to our self-care. So I'm gonna share with you what you can be doing. And let me just implore to you, when you build this particular antioxidant, when glutathione stores are strong, your sense of vitality, your sense of possibility, your potential, they are all just amazingly augmented. AA, amazingly <laughs> augmented. Interesting enough, it's very easy to do, but here's the fabulous uh, opportunity is that the average person in this country is getting about 25 to 30 milligrams. That's kind of a bare bones approach to glutathione. It almost happens by, by accident because ideally we should be closer to 250 milligrams. And when we hit there, that's when, oh my goodness, the floodgates open up and we're just like out of control, awesome. And it's so simple to build. You wanna increase your dark greens. You wanna eat an avocado every single day. You wanna have a little bit of green tea. And interesting enough, this whole idea of actually having a salad, having an avocado and getting some green tea polyphenols, whether it's through a supplementation or a cup of green tea, whether it's a sun tea in the afternoon, whatever you wanna do, those three things every single day will actually get you to that 300 milligram, which is above where you would love ideally to be, to take you in a whole other level of vitality. So just think about that. I'm gonna have a salad, I'm gonna have some guacamole, I'm gonna drink a cup of green tea. And, and you write it down and you check it off and you feel awesome about yourself for following through. And you write G-L-U-T-A-T-H-I-O-N-E, glutathione is me. And when you do that, you are a game-changing ninja of awesomeness. This is interesting too. They did a study where they took as many, I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of 300 and some odd centenarians. So that's pretty amazing to gather 300 people plus who've lived to 100 or more. And they found the ones who were most vital at 100 and above, one key thing across the board in their blood work, they all had high levels of glutathione in their blood. So if you're wondering whether or not it's gonna extend your life, look at that, the people who are crushing at 100, they are just loving this glutathione experience. 
And again, this is not necessarily something that's going to be a lot of work. This is not asking you to go out and do a triathlon. This is not asking us to be eating 27 cups of broccoli a day. This is simply a salad, a glute <laughs> a glutathione guacamole, and a cup of green tea, and you are well on your way. Oh my goodness, what a great day to say yes to your self-care, your self-love, and know that when you follow through and make good in your good intentions, you write these three things down, you have exponential confidence, you have exponential sense of possibility, and you become the change we wish to see in the world because your vibrancy becomes a beacon of hope for everyone who has the blessing of laying eyes on you. So with that, let's hear it for glutathione. Great Scrabble word. People are gonna go, what is that? You're gonna go, queen of the antioxidant army. That's what it is. Game over. <laughs> so there we go. Much love, all blessings. Have an awesome day. Bye for now.